40 percent of people according to opinion polls and there are aspects of gay life which a lot of people find hard to take gays would call this a cottage in england or a tea room in america not everyone who uses it is gay but many gays cruise certain public lavatories for instant anonymous sex kinsey found that 52 percent were bisexual married men it's risky the police may be lurking but some gays have had as many as 2,000 encounters in lavatories. What do you get out of it? Um, well, in my case, a sense of adventure. Um, when you used one, did you make any emotional contact with your partner? Not usually. That's almost against the rules. They're usually anonymous, casual, uh, almost no words are spoken, if any, uh, and there's usually no affection shown. It seems both incredibly promiscuous and incredibly sordid. Well, on the subject of promiscuity, I'm always reminded of Kinsey's definition of promiscuity. He said the only way he could define a promiscuous person was somebody who was having more sex than he was getting. I don't know how we define how much is too much sex. If I choose to have a lot of sex, I, I think that's my business. Now, these lavatories are public lavatories paid for by public money. I went into that one. I didn't like what I saw. Do you think I should be exposed to that on public money? I'd have several thoughts on that. One is that um, uh, people tend to see what they go looking for, and you had a, a different reason for most, perhaps for, for noticing what was going on. Um, so do the police who go in and, and they notice what's going on. Well, let me put it to you this way. What I saw was a young man sitting on the lavatory with the door open, looking at me. And what was so shocking about that? The fact that he had the door open. And the way he looked at me as well. And you haven't seen men undressed or exposing themselves before. Of I course, think it's I, a, of course yes. I have, but I don't expect to see that in a public lavatory. I think it's a, a rather sad commentary on our society that people are shocked by public nudity or by a, a public display of sexuality. I'm not shocked if I see heterosexual couples in this park doing things which are very, very blatantly sexual. Why should you or any other man be shocked simply because you see two men or some, some man making an approach? I don't know why, but I must tell you that I am. And I think a great many people feel the same. Well, I think that's your problem. A friend of mine who is very aware of the significance public toilets have to many gays in the early stages of coming out, a man who came from the country and had no other source of contacts, says that we should claim these places as sacred sites.